howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this a brand new day. Hokey smokes. There's a lot of traffic outside. My apologies. It's a brand new day. It is wet, cold, raining, gray, overcast. Thumbs up for that. And yeah, we're right next to a major road, and the hospital is down the major road, and they have helicopters going over the major road and here all the time. Which for some of our other veterans here isn't good because uh, a lot of our veterans here also suffer from PTSD and from when you've got heavy choppers flying overhead and they're chop 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 that's gonna bring stuff back that ain't good. <sighs> anyway though I hope your day is going well. I went to bed kind of early-ish around midnight didn't fall asleep well woke up or early, didn't sleep well through the middle of it, so I'm pretty tired. Life is life. <laughs> it could be worse. And of course, I continue having to put a tiny, thin little blanket thing over my top and then nothing over my feet because otherwise my legs are going to cramp up horribly. Yay. But one, some of the things I've wanted to talk about, I can't remember if I actually, oopsie, uh, my tablet is really balanced precariously. I gotta be careful not to knock it over so I'm moving one of my feet. I also, I can't remember if I talked about these. I I like plushies and squishy things and these are very soft but I got in some fries and somebody had on a, on X, Twitter, I had gone to one of like Walmart, copied the picture of the fries thing and just posted it going, I hope everyone has a great day. So it was nice and soft and fluffy. And someone commented back saying, I want the burger. I didn't know they had a burger, so I looked it up. Really cute. It's a cute burger. Now, I was at Walmart again last night, and I stopped by the the uh, Squishmallow section again. They didn't have a burger, but I have a slice of breakfast toast. <laughs> now, I read in comments and I can remember the comment because I saw it not that long ago. Someone said they had the big squish malls for one like putting behind their back, which is smart. Putting something behind your back when you're lying in bed is smart. You also want to put something between your knees to prevent skin to skin contact. But they also mentioned they have a squish mall that they hug. Beautiful. That's also a wonderful thing to do. And I say this coming from the healthcare side. Working as a nurse's aide and working in all the various parts, you want to prevent skin to skin contact. If you have skin to skin contact, it needs to stay dry. So having something like a pillow or a squish mall between your legs or providing support for an arm, excellent. So thumbs up. And I just wanted to point those out because they're really cute. Now, Earlier this week, I had ordered and paid for the installation of internet service. And it took a while to get it done. And where the port is to plug in the socket is at the headboard at the foot of my bed. So I can't have the bed against the wall properly because that smashes the cord. This is just background. Because yesterday I talked about how I discovered through someone in comments talking about the right angle Cat6 cable. Which is, you know, if you don't know what a Cat6 cable is, it's just that, it's just a cable that goes from, you know, wall to piece of equipment, like your wireless modem that then sends out the signal there. But it's just a thicker cable that carries a lot of information. So they have right angle ones, so I can smash my mattress up against it because it'll just go from the port straight down. So last night, well, let me continue, because I got me, it's a hexagon, about this big, it's about this thick, and it's got a plug, and then there's ventilation stuff around the bottom of it, but you plug it in, and then you plug in from the port to that with the Cat6 cable, and then you can either have wireless internet or take from the other port and then plug your computer into it because wireless is convenient but wired is the best connection for any piece of equipment you have. So I have not been able to use that thing well but the little thing you plug in runs hot, really hot 
and where I have it back behind my monitors, not a lot of ventilation. It's not dead air, but you know, compared to out here where I've got windows and fans, back there it's against the wall behind the monitors, well far away from stuff. I don't want it to run hot. So last night I had to go get another power strip and a little six inch fan. Now the power strip, I wanted to plug it into a different plug because I don't want to overload any of the sockets. I don't want to overload any of the circuits. I've, they're all not incredibly expensive, but better than just cheap junk circuit breaker type power socket things. These two are right angle plugs. So you plug it into the wall, it runs straight down. Problem with these is, because they are polarized and grounded, they only fit in one way. So you can put it into the bottom and have it run straight down, or you can put it into the top, and then you can't use the bottom plug because the cord goes over it. That means you can only plug in one of these at a time, because if you put it into the bottom, you can't plug it into the top because the cord would come straight down where this one's plugged in. So it won't fit, and you can't flip it over. Again, polarized and with a grounding plug. You know, pull. So I ran out of sockets. Every other socket I've got in here, except for one that's far, far away from my bed near the sink, has been filled with one of these right angle things. So then I remember and check my wall underneath my window next to the side of my bed that's smashed up against the wall is the socket. That's why I went and got another right angle power strip that I had to plug in, run underneath my bed, around another end thing I have, up onto the tabletop, and then I have to duct tape that to the tabletop, otherwise it's just gonna fall off. Into that, I have plugged my adapter. To keep it from running hot, I have the six inch fan also plugged in. The only two things plugged into that socket, into that power strip, just the fan and the internet box thing. The fan blows right at the little thing to keep it cool back there where there's not a lot of air circulation and then it runs into the wall. It's a set like a seven to 10 foot cord and it uses up just about all of it. <laughs> so right now, well, except I also discovered when I pull the mattress out, if I take my Iron Helm game box and I put it on the bed frame between the wall and the mattress, if I push the mattress against the Iron Helm box, it leaves enough room that it doesn't smash the cable. So the first thing I have to do when I wake up is move my mattress down, get the box, shove it in place, and then move the mattress back up against the box. Then reach back behind my monitors and turn on the power strip so that the modem and the fan turn on. And then during the five or some odd minute time that it takes for that to turn on and start giving me signal, I go to the bathroom, turn on the water so it gets warm, get my stuff together to start getting ready for the day, turn on my computer, and then by the time that I'm ready to start, sign in on my laptop, it's ready to go. Yes, I've got to be very careful when I come in through the door. Not because I'm going to smash the cable now, because the box is there to prevent that, but because it's pushed out into the doorway. <laughs> so if I'm not careful when I come in and I bonk into it, I'm just going to knock the mattress off the bed frame. Thumbs up. But still, I am glad. Because I'm using the new internet, new, because... When I was watching YouTube videos using the wireless from the community center at three megabits per download, I had to watch videos at 720. Because if I put them up to 1080, it would not do it. It just could not download the data fast enough that it could also show it to me. And this is with the video up in a small box in the corner. It just 
would sit and buffer and buffer, play a second, buffer, play a second, buffer. And I was like, no, that's just, you can't. So to test it, I set it full screen, 1080, and increase the speed. Yeah, it keeps up, no problem. So, don't know how fast the speeds are. Hopefully they don't suck, but it's a whole lot better than the free stuff. Yeah, it's the bottom tier and it's going it costs a lot, but I don't have to pay for phone and I don't have to pay for TV. I'm just paying for internet service. Thumbs up for that. If I need to, I can bump up to the next package. There are on all of this stuff, even the lowest tier, no data caps. Thumbs up. That's good because I watch and download a lot. Uh, when I was living at the other house before I went homeless, I could have easily hit the data cap in like two days That's, that would have been provided by Comcast. We had to pay for unlimited just so that we could actually use the internet. Yeah. So things are great and they are. And of course, with everything else going on, it's wet and rainy, and it's like, oh, what is it? Around noonish? Oh, my neck hurts so bad. It's around 11, and, it's between 11 and 12. I can barely turn my head to the side, so looking over behind my back and side didn't knock this thing down. Ow. So I gotta go for walkies, and I'm going to do some recording, and. I'm going to talk a little bit about Fallout New Vegas because I watched a video about Fallout New Vegas that still showed me the magic that they performed 15 years ago. You can sequence break some games where you skip part of the game and then it kind of mungs up. You can break things, you can knock down quests, but it helps you redo the game faster, especially if you want to speed run. But in Fallout New Vegas, they even counted on that. Not counted on, but sequence breaking is accounted for. I mean, you can, what you're supposed to do in Fallout New Vegas is as a new player, you go south, you run over this direction, and then you head north. It allows you to get a, a lay of the land, find out information about the various factions, get information in quests, and then now you've learned about the world. But if you can manage to sneak up north past a whole bunch of stuff designed to really discourage you from doing that, if you do that and skip all of the quests that are happening over here and all of the NPCs, when you do come across them later, that's accounted for. One big one is there is a fellow that you come across in a town called Nipton in the very beginning. And he talks to you. Later on, when you end up in the actual New Vegas, he shows up and he gives you the Mark of Kaiser. Later on, if you skip the first part and then go back, he will actually say, I don't know if you remember me, but I gave you the Mark of Kaiser in New Vegas. So they even accounted for sequence breaking. Thumbs up. So yeah, and if I had my speech craft in Fallout New Vegas higher, I have been told I could have saved Dog. Dog is uh, the one that has made me cry. And I have figured that I probably could have, but my speech, you had to have a speech skill of about 70. I was in the 50s. That option was not given to me because I did not have enough skill. And I'm not going to feel bad about this because my character would not have known. Because she did not have the skill to do this, the best and only option for that character to get any peace at all was what they, they ended up doing. Pulling a chain around their neck until they were gone. Now, I'm hoping I can save Dean, Dean Domino, and I don't know about Christine, the woman whose voice box is damaged. I don't really feel too much about her. I haven't really been able to connect 
Dean is just a sarcastic, narcissistic son of a bitch, and I love him so much. I want to save him, but I am fully, fully prepared that, to know that I, I'm not going to be able to do it. I bet my skills to get him are not high enough. I'm not going to use a guide. I'm not going to do anything else. The chips fall where they may. If he dies, he dies. I'm probably going to cry about it because ever since recording with Dog, <sighs> I've still uh, been crying about that situation. Thumbs up. <laughs> but past that, I mean, one of the one of my big issues. I've mentioned this before, and I can't remember exactly where I was going to go with it, but I have over. Oh yeah, I remember now. I have overestimated the amount of spoons that I have. And once again, spoon theory. I don't want to do it quick, so I don't bore you too much. If you don't have any real issues, every day you wake up, you have 90 to 100 spoons. Doing anything at all. God, I have so much sticky stuff here from... Uh, great. Sticky stuff from my, my denture cream. Yay. But it's... I can even remember what I was talking about now. Oh, God, I love ADHD. <coughs> yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's yanked out of my head. Salad. <sighs> yummy, yummy. It's time. I, I was giving a spoon theory, spoon theory, pointing like that reminded me. Sorry about that. Maybe I'll edit this out. Spoon theory. And everything costs spoons. So at the end of the day, you still have spoons left because, you know, making breakfast takes three spoons. Going to work takes two spoons. Working takes four spoons. It does, you know, you're spending spoons to do stuff all day. And then you got a handful of spoons left. I've always figured I had around 70 spoons on a good day. I've been vastly overestimating that, especially since last year when this problem really made itself known and I lost the use of this arm for a month and a half. I love refrigerators. Oh, ADHD. Oh, somebody, oh, he needs no. some milk. I give up on that. I'm, I give up on that thought. I am so sorry. I'm going to go on to this one because every time I try to talk about that, I lose it anyway. So I will talk about this one real quick before I give up entirely in frustration. I was watching this one video about this one gal talking about autism and ADHD and how your ADHD can mask your autism and that it's very common for that. But there is a word for it, and they call it, it's informal, ADHD, A-U-D-H-D, autistic with ADHD. Yeah, I am autistic in that fashion, ADHD. <sighs> so yeah, I wish I could remember what I was talking about. I remember pointing up like that, you know, real quick. Again. I love ADHD. I wish I could take medicine for it without dying. So, I'm going to hopefully record stuff. I'm going to make up my character sheets. I'm going to make up my characters. I'm going to do some stuff, get it recorded and played. Well, played and then recorded. And then edited and uploaded. So that'll be a good thing because it's been a while since I've done a, a, a good solo RPG thing. So I want to do something quick before I lose all my momentum. So thumbs up on that. Oh, and I'm so sorry, ADHD. I mean, sometimes, I about, is it about dog? I remember something, was like, I wish it was like dog. You know, yeah, I was talking about dog, wasn't I? Yeah, and I want to save Dean and Christine, but we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Brain. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. I mean, I wouldn't blame you for not ta not watching after I lost it entirely and tried to get it. So if you have watched this far, thumbs up, thank you, just appreciate it. On this side, I'm just so much saliva build up. Yay! If you're one of my Patreon patrons, thumbs up, thank you, it is appreciated to no end. You are beautiful and awesome people and you help me out to no end. Oh, you take me from a badly hurting monkey to just a hurting monkey and in these United States, that's a good thing. Thumbs up, thank you. It is appreciated.
if you have left well no there's more I can't put your names up here yet but when I can I will until then remember that when you look in the mirror you are, are looking at someone who's both beautiful and awesome finger guns and if you've left me a comment thumbs up thank you it is appreciated I answer as many as I can which is not as many as I would like to but thumbs up and thank you they are appreciated I thumbs up and heart each one that I can so yay and of course uh, if you've watched this far, if you could write uh, just fries in the comment section to let the YouTube algorithm know that at least some people watch, that would be appreciated. Thumbs up and thank you. So I got work to do. I got places to go. I got wetness to get <laughs> as I walk outside in the rain. Thumbs up for that. Hopefully you can get done the things that you want to get done. But it's a weekend. You know, don't beat yourself up. Never beat yourself up. It's, it's just... It's not fun. I wouldn't suggest it. So, until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. Ooh, they're gonna kiss. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing. It is. So, yeah, I really do hope you have a great day. I, mean, I, I wish the best for everyone.